Hi guys. So I'm gonna be making spring rolls for you today. Um, sorry I have delayed it so long. Um, I've been really, really busy. Um, and it's really noisy in the background because my birds are having a party. So just have to bear with that. Um, so I got like half a kilogram of pork minced meat. Um, and then I got um, the TYJ spring roll pastry. And this one is made with eggs. The ones with the eggs inside the pastry taste so much better than the ones without the eggs. And then when you cook the spring rolls, they turn golden crispy. That's what we want. And then I got um, like just a small cup or a handful of black fungus strip mushroom. Um, I'll just show you what they look like. So they come in a bag, you can buy them for like $2 at the Asian store and they look like that. They're just like thin strips of fungus mushroom. So you need um, like a handful of that or a small cup of it and um, you soak it in warm water in a bowl until it turns um, really soft like this. It has to be like really soft and then you get um, because it's only half a kilogram of pork mince, I'm going to be using 50 grams of vermicelli. I'm just using a small pack, 50 grams of that. Um, and you soak it in warm water as well until it's like really soft like this. Until it's like that. And you drain the water out once it's really soft. You do the same to the mushroom. You need one egg. Half an onion, chopped or diced, um, and you need a carrot. Just um, peel it and then grate it. Grate it until it's like really small, like this. And you need a bottle of fish sauce. This is what I use. You need pepper. Um, I'm using white pepper at the moment. You need to get half a tablespoon of molded sodium, so, you know, MSG. You need a tablespoon of sugar, a tablespoon of salt. So after you've got all of those ingredients, might I just add that um, with the spring roll pastry, you need the square ones, the small ones, don't buy the big ones. And, um, you should buy them frozen and then leave them to defrost for a while until they're like half frozen, half defrosted. Um, so that when you peel it, it doesn't really rip. And it's easier to fold once they're like a little bit frozen as well. You get your mushrooms and you drain the water out of them. Then you get your scissors and you just cut the mushrooms like that. Just cut it so that it's like really small. like. I'll show you how small I want it to be so that it's like as small as that like diced up you drain the water out of the vermicelli bowl after it's all soft and then you cut it as well this, this makes it easier um, to fold the spring rolls like once you put the noodles in um, and they're nice and short like that it's easier to fold the spring rolls because if it's too long, it's a bit hard. Next, I'm just going to get a bowl, like a large bowl. And I'm going to get my pork mince. This is pork and bell mince. Um, this is half a kilogram of pork mince. I'm just going to go ahead and put the pork mince into the bowl. So you start off by putting the salt onto the mince meat. Then you add the sugar. And then you add your motor sodium. And then after that, add the noodles, add your carrots, add your onion, and then just mix it with your hands. So it's like that right now. Make sure your hands are nice and clean and just start mixing it. 
show it. It looks like that. I'm just gonna go quickly wash my hands and I'll come back and show you guys what the next. Next, I'm gonna be getting my white pepper and two teaspoons of pepper. And then getting my fish sauce and my tablespoon. I'm going to have to measure um, how much fish sauce I'm using in my spring rolls because normally I'll just put the fish sauce in and I'll know how much um, I've got in the spring rolls. So that's what it looks like right now. Normally I don't have to measure it because I already know like you know how much I'm supposed to put in. Um, but since I'm showing you guys how to do it, I'm just, I'm just gonna um, give you guys the measurements. So I'm just gonna put the fish sauce in and count how many ta tablespoons you need, and then I'll just put it in the bottom description and tell you guys like you know. You need eight tablespoons of fish sauce or whatever. So yeah. Okay, guys. So I only put in seven tablespoons of fish sauce. After putting seven tablespoons of fish sauce into your um batter, you get the mushrooms and just start putting it in. So start mixing it with your hands. It should look like this. Just get in there, don't be afraid to use your hands. Um, you're gonna have to dirty them anyway when you start wrapping the spring rolls. Like, even the kids can do this, you know. Um, if you're a parent and they want to help you make the spring rolls, then let them help you. They can mix the batter together for you. Like, just don't let them cut the onions and all that, you know. So, right now, this is what it looks like. Mmm. Then you put the whole entire egg in. And you start mixing. If you use a kilogram of pork mince, then just, you know, use double the amount that I've told you. So if it's um, 7 tablespoons of fish sauce, use 14. You use the egg in the spring roll to make the mincemeat have like that nice soft consistency there. It's gooey, you need it to be like you know, all gooey so that when you wrap it, um, it sticks to the pastry as well. Okay, my hands are smelling like eggs and fish sauce now. Yeah. But yeah, okay. So we're done with that. Um, we're going to start stripping the um, pastry. So you peel the pastry. I'll show you guys how to do that. I'm just going to wash my hands. I'll be back. Okay, so when you peel it, it'll be like this. Really thin. It'll come off like that. So just place it on your plate. I'm just going to go ahead and peel them all, and then I'll start showing you how to fold them. So there is the meat, that's my plate of pastry, that's my little plate there, that's my dog Jasper, hello Jasper, he comes to say hi, alright out, I'm not having any spring rolls, okay so this is going to be hard showing you guys how to fold it while I'm using one hand to hold the camera and the other hand to you know fold it um so I'm just trying to figure out a way to show you guys um maybe if I moved it somehow maybe if I did that that's my little laptop by the way my notebook it's the ETC faces uh, okay, so anyways, back to what we're meant to be talking about. Um, okay, so I always forget something when I make a video. So you're going to need an egg yolk, just the yolk itself, not the egg white, and you're going to pop it and just mix it around with your fingers. The reason why we're using an egg yolk is because when you put it on the pastry, it makes the um, spring rolls hold together. I'm going to try and zoom in for you guys. Maybe it'll help. Just hang on. Bear with me again. Alright, so taking pastry, 
I'm gonna place it on my plate. Like that. I'm gonna take some egg yolk into my fingers and dab the yolk in the top corner there. Nowhere else, just the top corner. Then grabbing some meat. I'm going to take a bit there and put it in the bottom corner there, like that. And then flatten it out, like so. Then I'm going to take the corner there and fold it in, like that, and just push it in. Push that corner into the meat and then turn it. So while uh, you're rolling the spring roll towards the corner of the egg yolk, still pushing the pastry in. Take the corner and fold it in. Take the other corner. Make sure it's like that. And then you're gonna fold it in with your fingers. Hold that corner there with your fingers. I'm gonna fold it in. And while you're pushing it, it's tapping the spring rolls. And it's going to turn out like that. So hey guys, um, I'm done folding the spring rolls and everything and, and this is what it looks like. Um, so there's more on another plate but I'm just going to show you guys my little pyramid. I'm going to go and fry them and I'll show you guys what they look like after. Hey guys, so I hope that you like my spring rolls and I hope that yours turns out um, really good as well. Um, just don't forget that you can add potatoes to it but you're going to cook it a little bit longer and put the heat on to really really low, okay? Um, so for the sauce, uh, my mom's already made the sauce but um, I don't exactly know how much you put in but you need, um, you need like a small pot and you need to boil um, like water and a lot of sugar into the pot so you need to boil it on high and then after um, it starts boiling put it on low um, and then add like a bit of more sodium to the water and the sugar um, add a little bit of salt and then you add um, like some fish sauce I think like maybe four tablespoons or five um, normally it's a bit more than that but I'm, I'm just estimating I don't really know I haven't made it yet um, you need fish sauce and then you need um, chili, chop it up, put the chili in and then you get garlic. Uh, you chop the garlic up into, you know, fine, fine um, cubes and then you just put it in and you boil it all. And while you're doing that, make sure you stir it really slowly. Um, and then the consistency should be like, oh, like runny a bit. Uh, like you can taste it, um, if the sauce tastes good to you then it's ready, um, if it needs a little bit more sugar, add a little bit more sugar, add a little bit more fish sauce, if it's not enough flavour, that's how you make the sauce, I, I'm sorry that I can't tell you um, exactly how much you need to put in to make it, but that's, that's what you need. So anyways, um, enjoy the spring rolls, um, I hope my, my instructions were easy to follow as well, um, and next time I will make Asian macaroni for you guys. And this it, this will include like um, pasta, uh, minced meat, and soup. So it, this is a different kind of macaroni, not the not the um, Aussie or not the you know the European style of making macaroni with cheese and stuff. This is totally different. Stay tuned, keep watching. I'll see you soon.